Hello guys, this is Sakuraba1982 here with my second let's play of Terradrome. I asked for feedback on which of the characters would be, you know, what everyone wanted to see and it's pretty much, it was a mix between Chucky, Michael Myers and Ash from Evil Dead. But I think for the hell of it I'm going to pick Chucky first and then work my way through the others. So Charles Lee Ray, the Lakeshore Strangler, let's go. <clears throat> okay, we're fighting Ghost Faced from Scream. Quick. Ah, oh, I didn't quite get there in time. Obviously, Chucky, the biggest issue with him is going to be his size. But in the words of Chucky, it's not the size that counts, asshole. It's what you do with it. Line there from Bride of Chucky. Whoa! I say the main issue should be. I would say should be stunned there. Size is a real issue, man. Just getting in close for this combination. But that was always going to be a problem when I was playing as Chucky, right? Headbutt. Headbutt. There we go. Power of the Killer Dolls. Headbutt. Um... You got the Child's Play series, sign out with uh, Child's Play 1, which is actually a pretty decent horror film. Um, with Andy Barkley. Ah. If you're going to download this game, it is free, guys. But I will warn you now, the AI is cheap as hell. Damn it. Can't do anything. Just spam. Oh, you bastard. Got me. Scary night, isn't it? Owned by Ghostface, guys. Fight. Oh, there we go. That's pretty useful. Ow. This is nuts. It's a nice atmospheric music there from the screen movies. I think the problem with Chucky, as soon as they start attacking you, you're in uh, you're in trouble. Headbutts! You had um, Andy Bartley in Child's Play 1, followed by him returning in Child's Play 2, and then you have the infamous Child's Play 3, which was banned for a little while here in the UK. It was a different actor for Andy Bartley in uh, Child's Play 3. The banning of Child's Play 3 in the UK was due to a horrific murder of a boy named Jamie Bolger in the 90s with two uh, nine, a nine and ten year old um, kidnapped a toddler and threw him on railway tracks and it was an absolutely horrific fight, um, crime. There was actually no real evidence that the film contributed to any of the, the crime itself but they had been watching it as well as other horror films so the UK had some real funny issues with horror films through the video nasty phase and uh, there we go. Here we are against Evil Dead Ash.
fight. Chucky played by Brad Dourif. A great voice for Chucky. I can't imagine anyone else doing the voice. You had the Bride of Chucky, which is probably the best of the Child's Play movies, which is the model you see there for Chucky. Give me the power, I beg of you. Oh, that's so much fun. Well, I think I'm starting to get the hang of Chucky. It's all about mix-ups. And if you need to get out, you can do that wall jump there. That's pretty useful. Just don't let them attack you. That's the, uh, the key. There we go. That, that, um, them rolling moves towards and away from your opponent for the wall jump are critical. As you saw against Ghostface, guys, as soon as he starts comboing you, you're too much of a short ass as Chucky to actually survive the attack. Hi, I'm Chucky. Wow, what a match. Charles Lee Ray versus Michael Myers. Let's headbutt Michael Myers. There we go. Have another headbutt. I actually quite like Chucky's character. I, I, could, I could use him online, I think. I could be quite cheap with Chucky, I think. Let's get some wall action going. Finish with a headbutt. Ow. Finish with a headbutt. This is fun. This is my ultimate fighting game, man. If I could ever pick a fighting game, Fight. this would have been what I wanted. Now, all the horror icons. It's got some, got the normals in there. You got your Freddy, you got your Michael Myers, but it's got some lesser known people as well. I mean, unless you're really into horror movies, you might not know who, who um, Albert West from Reanimator is or Sin Pumpkinhead. You know, they're not always films that non-hardcore people have seen, you know? And that's fine. This is all about fan service, this game. Wow. Getting the hang of Chucky, guys. When they first started out the Child's Play films, they tried to make it scary. You know, sort of Child's Play 1, Child's Play 2 were really aiming for that horror um, aspect to the films. But by the time they got to the third film, they just realised that, that Chucky was funnier than he was scary. And I think the film where they really nailed the humour is um, The Bride of Chucky. So I absolutely love Jennifer Tilly as as Tiffany, you know, she she always plays a great psycho, Jennifer Tilly. Ow. Shit. Right, let's get back in there. Get that wall that wall jump is so cool, man. Don't think the maniac Oh shit. I was about to say, I don't think the maniac cop is quite equipped to deal with Chucky, but he's starting his combinations now. I could be in some tr Oh bitch slap me. Nice. Maniac Cop had Bruce Campbell in the first film. It's not one of the Fight. films I consider a classic Maniac Cop, but I think it's alright. Shit. He's going into Neo for the Matrix mode now. Ah, bastard. Get away from me. Have another voodoo. Shit! Ah, 
Just need to get out of this situation. There we go. Ow. This game's quite simplistic. It's not like a a great fighting game or anything, but it's certainly functional. This game would be amazing if they could just put it on Xbox Live or PSN Store and just have some online gameplay. It would sound like hotcakes. As I said in the previous video though, all the licenses between the different horror movie bad guys just wouldn't work. Everyone would, everyone would want a slice of the pie, so to speak. Dr. Herbert West, I called him Albert for some reason, but um, earlier. Star of Reanimator. Kind of a crazy scientist. Uh, the, the plot of Reanimator is he's developed this tonic. You can inject dead people and dead parts and they come back to life as kind of zombies. Oh! Reanimate is definitely one of those um, comedy horrors, you know? Headbutt. Headbutt. Nice. Reanimate has got some cool parts in, though. Just for the creature effects, they're uh, kind of cheesy. But it makes it fun, you know? Cheesy horror is fun. Oh, nice. I could headbutt him in midair then. I think he just uh, healed himself then. Corner rape by Chucky. Keep up the corner rape, Sack. Head butterfly. Glasgow kiss. Very nice. Chucky's kind of cheap, actually. When you get the hang of him and his uh, roll move, his wall jump and his little combo, he is kind of cheap. I can imagine I can make some people rage. Oh, come off it. This would, this would, be, this would be a massacre. In Texas or not. Right, I do not want him to start attacking me. <laughs> Seeing Chucky headbutt in Leatherface, man, that's that's hilarious. Oh, bastard! I think I'm actually out of voodoo dolls now. Chucky headbutts Leatherface into submission. Amazing. God, this game is this awesome. And it's free. I forgot to mention, guys. I mentioned in the first video. This is free for download. A link will be in the description. Can't jump in. Shit. What? I'll tell you who I'm going to struggle with a little bit. I think it'd be Pumpkinhead. Pumpkinhead's a really reachy, really lengthy character. Oh, I did not do that as well. The Late Shore Strangler. So I've got Candyman, I've got Hell uh, Pinhead, Freddy, Tall Man from Phantasm, a few more. Fight. This is nuts. This is nuts. Beast. 
I am inflicting a certain amount of Gorgonzola cheesy gameplay against the tall man here. Jesus. Cheese by the Sackmeister. Taste of Gorgonzola. Ah. Oh. Gimp. <laughs> Obviously, Phantasm was a film in the 70s, beloved by fans. Um, many sequels, sequels, as with most horror movies, were a bit shit. I'm just getting my leg pumped by a little uh, dwarf there, which is kind of weird. Ow! Ow! Time to cheese the tool, man. That was close, I almost uh, lost around there, guys. I can't have none of that. Not in my playthrough. Um, so we've got Freddy and we've got Pinhead left, and I think we have Jason as well. You think Hi, got I'm what Chucky. It takes. <laughs> Fight. <laughs> what was you guy? <laughs> bon appetit, bitch. <laughs> Wow, decimation by Chucky. Love it. That was fun. Kung Fu this bitch. Why won't you die? It's a line from uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 4 there, guys. Why won't you die? I day do we can bella. Come on, Freddy. Get. Get out of there. Enough of this bullshit. Oh. Come back by, uh... There we go. I'd say he's having a bit of a comeback there, guys, wasn't it? I couldn't have none of that. Um, so, it's just Jason, I believe. Unless I've missed anybody. It is possible. Oh, Candyman! Put them to your after cheese me is Jason. See how you like it, bitch. No, you don't. Don't even think about it. This is nuts. So, you say Candyman was the guy I had most problems in my playthrough is Jason, because he was a uh, place very much like Albert Wesker from the looks of it from Marvel Three. He's just got a lot of teleportation moves, very mobile. But at the same time, Jason's a very different character to play as compared to Chucky. Chucky's very mobile, 
Very quick, got some cheap moves. Where Jason's a power character, you basically just continually pummel your opponent until their defense fails. Oh, headbutt to the knee. Very nice. Candyman was much easier that time. So we have Pinhead and we have Jason Voorhees next. And Pumpkinhead. Fight. This is gonna be this is gonna be a problem, guys, I can tell you now. Look at look at the reach, man. Yeah, this sucks. Just continually spam that combo every time he gets up. Where reach does not become a problem. I am aware I'm being a little bit cheap here, guys, but as you saw, getting into this guy, getting into this creature is the problem. The revenge. Let's let him play a little bit more this time. Tail whip is not ideal, is it? Let's come out here, I can't really see what I'm doing, so come on, pumpkin head. In your own time. As I said before in the beginning of the video, guys, this game is free to download. The link will be in the description. If you're a horror fan, you need to play this game now. No question. Now, I do believe it is just Pinhead and Jason left now. So let's rock and roll. Fight. Ow. Jesus wet. Ow. Go away, my hard drive is low, bloody. Sorry about that. Just had to correct that. I need to clear some space on my hard drive, it's complaining. I don't want to headbutt Pinhead when he's got. I dare you. What's my favourite pinhead scene? Glorious. I know it's kind of cheesy, but I like his little speech in the uh, church in Hellraiser 3 when he uh, tells the priest that he is pain. It's almost like just proper sacrilegious when he puts the bolts through his hand, you know, and uh, all the church pain glass smashes and stuff. It's really, really a cool scene. Hellraiser was adapted from a novel called The Hellbound Heart from Clive Barker. Glorious. Which was actually a short story, if I'm not mistaken. And focuses very much on pain and pleasure being indifferent. Ow, ow, ow. There was a lot of um, sequels to Hellraiser made. But a lot of them, for example, number five, were not actually originally Hellraiser films. They just had Pinhead stuck in them after the development. Because Pinhead sells sells DVDs, doesn't he? Hellraiser is certainly one of those franchises that fell under the curse of straight to DVD after the first couple of films. Shit, I'm in trouble now. There we go. That was awesome. Okay, Mr. Voorhees, me and you, buddy. 
Now this is going to be a hard fight, especially the pre-zombie Jason. He's an absolute pain in the ass. There he is. That's the one. That axe is quite long reaching, so let's uh. Just not going to give him a chance to move. Out. Away. Away. Give me the power I beg of you. This is nuts. Shit missed. No. This is nuts. I love that wall jump, man. If you actually hit him on the way down, it opens him up for a combination. It's a good opener. In fighting games, 2D fighting games, there's hits which are called op openers. If you land the hit, it leaves the opponent open for a couple of frames of animation to land the combination. It's the way I always learn fighting games. I pick one or two characters and learn what their openers are, what their combinations are. Ow, 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 ow. See what I mean about it? he starts attacking, it's good night Irene. So hope good thing with Jason being slow, I can start my combination off before he gets to do his. Nice. So if I'm not mistaken, it is just post zombie J. Oh no, there we go. Chucky won the fight against Jason. And I don't know what's going on with that writing, guys. This isn't an official game, so... It is what it is, right? There's a graphical glitch there, and I suppose we just have to kind of run with it. Anyway, that's the second Let's Play, guys. Next, it's probably going to be... Ash from The Evil Dead, or Michael Myers. So I hope you enjoyed that. I uh, came home from lunch to record this for you, so I uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you so much. Sack out. This is my boomstick!